Yes, people, a convicted double killer who was on the run for over 15 years has been found guilty of the murder of an ex-policeman on a canal towpath after finally being unmasked. The 50-year-old had been convicted of murdering former police officer Clive Porter under the name Daniel Wisniewski. However, when the jury returned its verdict, the prosecution revealed that the man on trial was really murderer Sylwester Krajewski. Being on the run after escaping from jail in Poland in 2005, Krajewski claimed from the dock that he was not a convict on the run, maintaining that he was Daniel Wisniewski, prompting the judge to hold a trial of issue, hearing to decide who he really was. Today, Krajewski was jailed for life and will serve a minimum of 35 years for killing Mr. Porter. The court heard how Krajewski had made several attempts to delay court proceedings by sacking his defence counsel on three occasions, the last being on the day of his sentencing. During a trial of issue, Mr Justice Turner heard how fingerprint and palm print evidence given to the Thames Valley Police from Interpol and Polish authorities exactly matched on 56 of his fingerprint characteristics with no mismatches detected by forensic experts. Given his verdict on the identity question, Mr Justice Turner said there were no details to cast doubt that the defendant and Krajewski are not the same person. He will be sentenced on the basis that his murder of Mr Porter is his such fair defence. Earlier a jury at Reading Crown Court heard that Mr Porter was murdered after Krajewski took exemption when he saw him placing a penalty ticket on someone else's narrow boat because it did not have a mooring licence. Krajewski's third murder happened on April 26 last year. The jury was told that Mr Porter was using his retirement from Hertfordshire Police to patrol the Grand Union Canal, volunteering for the Canal Rivers and Trust picking up any boats which were being used without licences. The defendant was on his own narrow boat, the Captain Golden Heart, at a lock on the Grand Union Canal when he spotted Mr Porter posting a notice on the nearby Frosty Jack boat. The jury heard in a three-week trial that after a verbal confrontation, Mr Porter and Kajewski, the latter, battered the ex-policeman to death, leaving him face down in a water-filled ditch on the canal bank in Aylesbury. Paramedics managed to pull Mr Porter out of the water and worked desperately to save his life, but he was declared dead soon after. Krajewski, fleeing the scene shortly afterwards, was found by a police helicopter crew hiding underneath a trailer on his partner's land nearby. The Polish national, who sat in the dock listening to an interpreter throughout proceedings, denied that he murdered Mr. Porter, instead claiming that he tried to save him after he was being attacked by a pair of unknown men who claimed, who he claimed came from the Frosty Jack. Krajewski is subject to a European arrest warrant, known as a Red Notice, and he's been wanted for a considerable period of time. I'm sure Poland would like to have him back in their prisons at some point. He's 50 years old now and we've added that sentence on so he's likely to die in prison. Informing the court of Krajewski's murderous crimes committed in 1992, the prosecutor explained how Krajewski, alongside an accomplice, savaged a married couple in a forest using sticks and a gas firearm, beating the husband to death before suffocating the wife with the stick. Krajewski and his accomplice then abandoned the bodies, stealing belongings and covering their tracks. The chilling attack the judge heard was in order to defraud the couple out of a red Fortiero and took place while Krajewski impersonated a police officer using a fake police ID. Referring to the Aylesbury murder, prosecutor Ross Cohen added, This was a wholly unprovoked and cold-blooded attack by a serial killer who absconded from prison on a man who was just doing his job. Defending Tano Marie Adkin QC, told the judge that he did not use any weapons and there was no evidence to suggest the murder was planned. She also told the judge that the defendant continues to protest his innocence and continues to deny he is anyone other than Daniel Wisniewski. She said to the judge, this defendant has been a model prisoner and has provided evidence confirming he has been a model prisoner. Sentencing, the High Court judge said, you had a long-standing grudge with the Canal and Rivers Trust and thought you were not getting enough value for money. You thought not enough was being done to look after the towpaths. You became obsessed and you became infuriated when you saw Mr. Porter. You started to take no less than 13 votos of him as he went about his business. Mr. Porter was a mild-mannered man who shied away from confrontation. You harassed Mr. Porter. With such ferocity, you began to attract the attention of others.
You worked yourself up into such a frenzy, you punched him with a blow so powerful that it was enough to cause a whiplash injury. Mr. Paul ended up in a water filled ditch. This was when you decided that he would have to die. Krajewski, age 50, who is living in Birmingham but is now of no fits to bold, was sentenced to life in prison with a minimum term of 35 years before he can be considered for parole. He will remain on licence for the rest of his life. Just souls, your crimes can come back and haunt you at any time. But anyway, like, comment, share, subscribe. Stay safe. Peace.